My name's Eric Swords. I'm the lead portfolio manager of the cybersecurity strategy. And my team has been very, very focused on what we've been doing uh, in and around the cybersecurity industry. There are a lot of exciting topics to be thinking about with regards to cybersecurity over the course of the next couple of years. Risk management is a critical component of our investment process. So we've been spending quite a bit of time over the course of the past year and a half in assessing how we could do a better job to think about what are the risks in the portfolio. So as part of that, um, we've worked jointly with our risk management as well as our quant teams in San Francisco. Um, what we do with them is on a weekly basis, we'll have a meeting with them to talk about factor exposure, stock specific risk, among other things that have to do uh, with risk management. Um, in addition to that, on a daily basis, we're talking about this at the portfolio level among our team. <clears throat> so it's important for us to have both a portfolio view as well as an individual stock view. And you know, one of the things that we're in the process of doing today is assessing what the risks are associated with the upcoming presidential election in November. Um, so this is something I'd say within the, the course of the next week or two, we'll have some answers in terms of thinking about how we should be positioning the portfolio in relation to what happened throughout history. Um, you know, so this is one of the components and what, one of the many components uh, that are part of our investment process. But this is something that is critically important to me uh, as the lead portfolio manager, because I think we need to be doing a very good job in terms of managing risk when there are downside scenarios. One of the reasons why I, I joined um, AGI and ultimately Voya was because of the desire to move towards a much more collaborative environment. And what we've been able to do since joining the firm is establish great relationships internally with both our artificial intelligence team, which is based in San Francisco along with us, in addition to um, all of the different central research and uh, portfolio teams that exist today in New York City. Um, so this has been great for us as far as the, the team effort. Um, interestingly, we do have a weekly base, a weekly meeting scheduled with our artificial intelligence team on Tuesday, where we specifically talk about technology. In addition to that, on Fridays, we do a portfolio review for the different products. So in our case, it would be technology or cybersecurity. In artificial intelligence case, we'll be talking about their portfolios and anything that's related to it. Um, it it's been great from the standpoint that we send or we spend a lot of time talking about specific technology companies uh, meetings that we've had recently with management teams or customer um, you know types of interactions with companies that we're invested in you know it is super helpful to have the the AI team in San Francisco along with us I mean I sit basically right next to uh, the majority of their team um, in our offices so this is something that it's sort of second nature for us to be able to uh, work together with them they've been very uh, beneficial to our process and I'd like to think it's fairly well known that the cybersecurity industry is very fragmented it is a super fragmented industry, which means no company represents more than 10% of total industry sales. So what that enables these companies to do is to think very uh, thoughtfully with regards to how uh, M&A can play a role in the growth of their businesses. Interestingly, we saw a, a, a very slow year last year in capital markets, so there were no IPOs. There are only a couple of M&A transactions that took place. As a matter of fact, one of our portfolio holdings was acquired in Q4 of last year. It's a company called Splunk. Um, you know, but what we're seeing so far is very, very um, exciting as far as what's to come. And uh, I think we'll start to see IPOs hit the public equity markets in the second half of this year and then into uh, calendar 25. And we suspect that we're going to see the M&A environment become uh, a little bit more um, flourishing with regards to what happens over the course of this next year. ここからは三菱 UFJ アセットマネジメントの盛りがご案内いたします2023年初来良好な経済見通しと企業業績を背景にサイバーセキュリティ株式オープンマザーファンドの基準価格は大きく上昇しました2026年末にかけて米国政策金利の利下げ企業利益の拡大が予想されておりこれらは株価上昇の材料になると期待されますそこで本動画では
サイバーセキュリティ業界を取り巻く環境について生成 AI 規制強化バリゴリンの3つのキーワードから2024年の注目トピックを読み解きます。日本でも流行語大賞のトップ10に選ばれるなど2023年は生成 AI が大きく進歩した年でした従来の AI は学習済みのデータの中から適切な回答を探して提示するものであったのに対し生成 AI は人間が与えていない情報やデータを自らインプットして学習し新たな回答を創出することができます米国の新興企業オープン a i が開発した ChatGPT はこれまでの生成 AI より自然言語処理能力が飛躍的に向上したことで注目を集めました生成 AI の登場によって私たちの生活や仕事の利便性が向上する一方まるで本物かのような偽情報フェイクニュースを作成し拡散するといった悪用のリスクがあります誤った情報は国や企業の活動に影響を与える恐れがあり世界中でフェイクへの警戒感が高まっていますこのように新しい技術の発展とともにサイバー攻撃は高度化しその被害は年々増加していますさまざまな分野での活用が期待されている生成 AI 領域においてセキュリティ面をいかに担保するかが求められます欧米を中心に各国でサイバーセキュリティに関する規制強化や法整備が進んでいます米国ではサイバー攻撃による被害が増加している中投資家や一般市民から企業に対して透明性を求める声が高まっていることを背景に米国証券取引委員会 SEC は2023年12月上昇企業に対しサイバーセキュリティに関する事故・リスク管理・ガバナンスの開示を義務付ける新たな規則を採択しましたまた欧州では脆弱性を狙ったサイバー攻撃が増加していることを受けサイバー攻撃からの体制強化のためネットワークにデータ接続する製品のセキュリティ対策を義務付ける法案に関して暫定的な政治合意に達したと発表しましたこうしたサイバーセキュリティに関する規制や法案等に対応すべく多くの企業でサイバーセキュリティ対策の強化が必要となりサイバーセキュリティの需要拡大が見込まれます多数の国地域から人々が集まる国際的なイベントは情報の不正取得や主義主張を目的としたサイバー攻撃の対象となりやすい傾向があります2024年はバリ五輪の開催が予定されています過去の五輪大会ではサイバー攻撃の標的となったことから五輪に関わる国や企業はサイバーセキュリティ対策を重要課題として捉えていますこうしたサイバーセキュリティ対策の強化に伴いサイバーセキュリティ関連企業のビジネスチャンスが拡大するとみています新しい技術の普及に伴うサイバーリスクの拡大規制強化によるサイバーセキュリティ事業の拡大世界的なイベントを狙ったサイバー攻撃サイバーセキュリティの2024年注目トピックを3つご紹介いたしました技術の進歩とともにサイバー攻撃は今後ますます高度化していくとみられます私たちの生活に必要不可欠なインフラともいえるサイバーセキュリティの市場は2024年以降も拡大が見込まれておりサイバーセキュリティ関連企業の株価上昇の源泉となる業績成長の拡大が期待されますサイバーセキュリティ株式オープンへの投資をぜひご検討くださいサイバーセキュリティ株式オープン各ファンドの運用実績はご覧の通りです画面を一時停止してご確認ください。